I'm interested in the human geography of Africa. So I'm interested in all of Africa, all the peoples of Africa, past and present. Uh, we used to call human geography dem demographics, but that sounds a little bit dry. In, actually, in actuality, it's very vivid because it's about the human geography of a vast continent, demographic growth, which is tremendous. Since over the last century, Africa has grown from 150 million to 1.3 billion, and over the next 30 years, will double again, so 2.5 billion, that's five times more than Europeans. I am working more and more on migration, first of all, internal migration, as there is a move from the village to the nearby town, then from the town to the capital city, perhaps to regional hubs such as Lagos or Abidjan and Nairobi. And then the final stage is going out into the wider world. And as you could see in 2015, there was this tremendous upsurge of migrants going to Europe. Europe is the island of prosperity within the reach for many Africans. And once you reach a level of prosperity, so precisely now with Africa rising, Africa no longer being just a, a continent of destitute people, people have not only the financial means to migrate internationally, but they also have a vision of the world, a vista, and so they're reaching out and coming in great numbers to Europe. I mentioned the fact that 150 million Africans in 1930 against 400 million Europeans. Now the table is turned. Uh, in 2050, five times more Africans than Europeans, and there will be tremendous migratory pressure on Africa with all the opportunities and challenges that that implies. I'm excited because of the students, and not to say that they are smart, I actually don't like that very much as a word. Uh, I'm enthusiastic about the enthusiasm in the classroom. And I come from Europe, I spent many years in Europe, and Europe has a wealth of knowledge about Africa, more than we do traditionally in the United States. Here it is a niche, but it is an expanding niche, and it's a totally different feeling. And I think the United States, and here at Duke, we resemble more uh, China in our discovery of Africa. We are positive about opportunities and less blasé. And I like that very much. Obviously, we see the challenges and I'm not filtering them out, but it, there is an upbeat sentiment about Africa. And our enrollment numbers are skyrocketing. And that's so rewarding to be in classrooms where people come. And then the students are diverse beyond our traditional understanding of diversity. So they, they're Africans, first and second generation students. They bring a wealth of experience to the classroom. And then the most diverse Americans that you can think of, African Americans, Asian Americans, but also diversity in outlook, what they professionally want to do. They want to become specialists in global health. They want to go into environment. They want to be journalists. They want to be anthropologists, name it. So it's a great place to be.